Hello again, this is just a little follow-up to the last F-sharp hamming exercise. Um, what's nice about exorcism is you can look at other solutions once you are done um, and see how badly you did something. Um, I must admit when looking at that, F-sharp when done well is a very pretty language, a bit prettier than what I threw together. Um, so I'm going to go back a little bit and see if I can make this a bit better from what I have seen. Um, the first thing I saw was there's a nice function um, also in this seek or sec, I don't know how you pronounce that, maybe just sequence library. Um, called zip. Now, what zip does is it takes two arrays or innumerables or something and zips them together. So, what that would mean is if you have things then your result will be that zipped together if you can see what I mean could be anything That gives us the zip sequence, so then we want to filter on that, and we will filter on the function of, we can call it AB, uh, where A is not equal to B. I am not sure if this is correct, but let's carry on. That can be piped into sec length, and sec length can be piped into some. That shouldn't be there. We just want to zip the first two. do think that is okay um, another thing that's wrong because this is returning a tuple so we want it like that we no longer need that okay this is also doing the comparison where they are not equal first I prefer that um, you could of course swap that around and then have the then there someone else might prefer that but I kind of like having it like that um, I wouldn't mind that on the same line but maybe if it's lined up like that and pushing that there I don't think that would line up there strand 2 Maybe.
still passing. I am very happy. Um, awesome. Uh, that's just a quick follow-up to say this can be neatened up a little bit. I do certainly think it is better. Um, of course, I think these can be functions can be taken out as well if you would be interested in doing something like that. Um, I sometimes in C sharp I sometimes prefer pulling my my lambdas out, giving them their own functions. Um, so that would be something like. Uh, a as an int, as an int, no, it's a char. Uh, B as a char, and that is equal to A not equal to B. And then that can just be comp. passes. Um, so if that's another way of doing it, all I'm doing here is taking that inline function, breaking it out into its own function. Mm, probably really not necessary to do something like that, but hey, you might prefer it. So, cool. Thanks again.